the sound of the F12. Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. You guys, I hope everybody in the DD fam is doing well, is healthy. Super excited about this episode. We are going to explain what's going on with our C8 delivery, <laughs> the mayhem that is, the uncertainty in the world right now, all the new things that we've had to learn how to do with this business during this pandemic. It's it's challenging, but in a lot of ways, I take on the challenge. That's what you do as an entrepreneur. You become adaptable to the situation, and that's what we are currently doing. So I'm gonna fill you guys in on all the updates, what's going on with new cars, and what's going on with this beautiful sounding FI exhaust straight pipe V12 Ferrari from Maranello. that I'm eating McDonald's. I did get a breakfast sandwich, bacon and egg. A lot better than getting a Big Mac with extra pickles and sauce the way I typically would like it. There's nothing else open and all you can get is drive through and you can't go in and even use the restrooms. So it is what it is. And the boys are here. Let me find somewhere to park, maybe next to Chris. What up guys? And yes, this is one of the greatest things about this car. It has a cup holder. What's that? You get some carrot sticks from McDonald's? I got some, yeah, I got some carrot sticks. Dave, what's up Chris? What's going on? How are you doing? Good, how are you? How's the GTR treating you? Excellent. Has Dave told you he doesn't believe this is a supercar? You know I do, right? I think it's like five or six times, maybe. Five or six times, yeah, that sounds like about right for him. <laughs> Someone say supercar? Are you showing off your doors again? No. So we're gonna tell everybody about like, what's yep. going on with the merch? Yep. The merch, by the way, check this out. I'm wearing our windbreaker. That's Would you guys like to see another windbreaker on the channel? Like for the merch game? Or are you guys more about the hoodie? I didn't do a burger, I tried to go healthier. Bacon and egg McMuffin. Is it healthier? It's well, a Big Mac is like a thousand calories. This is like but a couple if you eat hundred. One meal a day, you're good to go. No, I don't eat one meal a day. Yeah, I clearly, eat, clearly I eat more. Don't. So listen, why don't we tell everybody what's going on with our C8 Corvette that we were buying? Oh hey, how you doing? I was wondering, do you have any C8s in stock? You mean the Corvettes you mean? Yes. The new ones? Yeah. No, we don't. No, ours haven't arrived yet. All all fifteen that we're getting have already been sold. Oh, they're already acquired once they get in yeah. there. Do when do you know no, when they're they're not acquired, they've all been paid for. Oh, she's. Do you have any Corvette C8s in stock right now or on the way? I don't have them in at the moment yet. We are taking names down though for people. There's a waiting list. Are you interested in having your name down? I'd actually need the car in the next few days. Okay, yeah, unfortunately nothing like that. All we have right now is a C7. It's like $15,000 off though. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Oh, hi there. I was wondering, do you have any Corvette C8s uh, at your dealership? So essentially all the dealers, what they do is they're putting names on the ones that are en route. So what I need is I need to know when you're going to have it because I need to get the car this week if possible. Oh, and no one's going to get this week, brother. In BC, at least. The ones that have landed are all factory orders that have already been called on, kind of thing. And are you selling them for MSRP or is there a dealer over? Uh, 10 over. 10 over. 10 over MSRP. Okay, so why am I calling dealerships in Canada for a C8? Well, the truth is, we had one. Ready to go in the US two weeks ago. And unfortunately, due to what's happening in the world, borders closed, we can't go get it. Now, what you might not know about DDE is we have a few companies for our business structure. We have the British Columbia Maine Daily Driven Exotics. We also have an Alberta Corp that owns and leases all these cars for tax reasons, huge tax reasons, as well as, you may not know this, there's only one company in Canada that will insure these cars for business use. Yeah. And that's in Alberta. So we had to open an Alberta office, Alberta company, also for tax reasons. And, and additionally, for that reason, we have a California LLC for Daily Driven Exotics, which ironically has the money in it, in the US, for the Corvette. And unfortunately, you cannot wire the amount of money we have to wire remotely. I have to walk into a bank on US soil. I can't do that. So as a result, we can't get the Corvette. Now we're in a position where we need to buy another car. And the downside is, is he just called all the dealerships and Dave, what are they telling you? They're saying they don't have one. They're saying that they don't know when they're getting them. A lot of confusion. What I've heard from the overall majority is they're saying late spring, May. There's rumored that a couple of them back east um, have been delivered the first handful, but now they're like basically stuck in their own version of a quarantine at the shipping yard and not being released. If you're wondering why we haven't talked about this, in the past we've mentioned cars we're getting and then something falls apart, the car gets sold <laughs> or whatever. A perfect example, we talked about getting two V12s, one of them sitting over there, but how long did it take us to get that car because months, of all the delays? Months. We were months behind, 
and you guys were upset because a lot of people were trying to call us out and be like, oh, they said they were getting these cars, where are these cars? And we ended up getting the FF and the F12. One of the V12s that we were supposed to get was actually supposed to be NSV. It was, and that's the reality. So we learned that from now on, we're just gonna show you guys once it's done. The sad part is, is, is we have big DD plans for that C8. Damon's a master mechanic in his head, as far as <laughs> what he wants to see. To I just figure. have crazy ideas, and so we were gonna get this car and DDE it the way that we typically do. Drive it in a way that no one else was gonna drive it, and almost do like our version of, you know, car reviews, which we don't do, but in a way, the way that we beat on these cars, you get to see a review of what these cars are capable of or not capable of. 100%. The car's super cool, and right now, you know, I. I'm a Corvette guy, I always have been. <laughs> the challenge right now with the C8, like the Supra when it came out, is some dealers are playing the over ask game. You saw one that was like, how much over? 40,000 40 over ask. It was, a, it was a 96 MSRP, yeah. and he was asking 145 for it. Oh Actually, God. that's 50 over. That's, that's insane. 50. Sorry, that's my, that's grade eight education. So long story short, a C8 is coming to the channel. We have to hunt one down, right? We're gonna go hunting in Canada for a C8. Actually, Bows and arrows. Any of you guys know of a C8 that someone's asking just a little over MSRP, hit us up and let us know where we can find it. You wanna take these cars and go for a bit of a drive? Show them the beautiful island that we live on? Let's do the Malahat, the mountain pass. Okay, let's do it. Dude, that sounds sick. Give it one more. Oh, is that you, Dave? Rev again. The McLaren is stupid loud for a twin turbo car. Then you got the NA Ferrari, like listen. I've never been to. It's like when you live somewhere, you kind of just take it for granted. It's kind of fun to explore this with you guys today. A couple of supercars and a GTR. And we don't really have any tunnels per se on this island, but we have a few overpasses and this is one of them. <laughs> That's where you're gonna get that echo to really accentuate the beautiful Ferrari straight by V12. And yes, I know, my Italian goofy accent is really bad. I'll just bear with me. The internet's probably gonna burn me for those. Okay, because this is a safe, secure location and it's a little dark, I wanna see you shoot flames for everybody. Turn, Chris. Let's hear what you got. I want to hear some revs. All right, we're gonna send you on your way because that was really bad. We got to get you upgraded. <laughs> Rip it! Okay, we gotta get we gotta get Chris. Like the GTR has the potential we know to be madness. We're gonna have to get him like some two-step or something. Okay, you guys gotta vote. Which car sounds better? <laughs> that absolutely screams. Dave, I had to stop and show everybody this view. Beautiful. Dude. Check this out, you guys. So because we're on the most southern part of the island, you can see the ocean all the way around here and then all the way in the distance. I mean, you can't really beat this view. What a view. Oh, 
little construction dust. I can't do A and W anymore, so we came to my favorite place, Freshy. Can't do A and W oh, anymore. Fat burger, fat burger is off the list, dude. We're going healthy. I'm taking you to Freshy. What's Freshy? You're gonna find out, Chris. I know you love salads. Look at you. He likes a toss salad. <laughs> I built off salad. Okay. You broke my window, Dave. What? What happened? Right in the corner. <laughs> is that oh, is that legit from when we were coming down that road? That's right. Why would you, you got a have, brand new rock chip. Why would you not have Clearplex on here? That's pretty, oh, now you're promoting people. Oh, I like that. that. Protective okay. film. You know what, you think we're gonna see any other supercars driving around today? The PT Cruiser. The, uh, Damn, I love me some PT Cruiser. That's a Walt Jr. Breaking Bad. Well, I don't unfortunately have a big wing that we can eat on. Maybe that's something we should do. What do you guys think? Should the Ferrari F12 get a massive spoiler or is that gonna ruin the look of this car? What do you think, Chris? I think it should get one. Massive? Definitely like, massive. Like, like Huracan, like chassis mounted with a big bracket and everything? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Dave and I are really more of a work relationship, but you guys are like actually friends. How far back do you go? Oh, I don't know, six months. Six months? <laughs> <laughs> they actually go back as far as Dave and I go back and actually further. How long have you guys been friends? Since we were 13. 13. It's been a while. Wow, yeah, it's been a minute, hasn't it? It's been it? a rough go. It's been <laughs> By the way, this does not taste good. It's <laughs> lemonade with some charcoal, which charcoal well, has- I don't want charcoal There's no flavor in charcoal, because charcoal is going to clean your colon. You're middle-aged, you need your colon clean. I'm not middle-aged yet, am I? Are we actually middle-aged men now? Yes. I'm middle-aged. You are middle-aged. Look dressed right now, We're I'm getting, middle-aged. Yeah, you look like- I'm 22 years old. I don't even know what you're dressed like right we're now. We're getting rid of the McLaren, and we're getting you a Porsche. I know! All right. Gentlemen, I present to you today's lunch. What, did you, what did you order in Tex -Mex. the end? Tex-Mex. It's just Tex -Mex. Full, of, full of cheese. Damon Wait. got the all sausage patty. That's weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. oh, it's so hard to open this. Food vlog. That is a Cobb salad wrapped into a wrap. It's like a Cobb burrito. Let's see yours. Tex-Mex, just cheese. And? Smokehouse chicken. Oh, the smokehouse sounds yeah. delicious. This guy loves chicken. His last name's Poulet, and always is chicken. Poulet. Poulet is French for chicken. <laughs> it's really cool, and we're getting warm here. This is like the modern day burning barrel. You guys have always been asking, what happened to the warehouse? The one in Canada, right? Yeah, the old Victoria shop. You guys want some updates on like, we, you guys have had so many questions that we've kind of not like purposely dodged or anything. We haven't really answered on a video. We've answered in comment section, yeah. but then only the person who asked the question got the answer. We're gonna give you the answers to some of your biggest questions, like what happened to our old Victoria-based warehouse? What happened to my hair on my head? What happened to your what? And we'll also tell you guys what happened to our potential donut shop, which by the way, I didn't even know, Scout's Honor, that the Hoonigans had a shop called the Donut Garage. I didn't know that. So we're gonna have to modify our name once we get a place. How many of you remember when I used to drive up here and we used to have a shop right in here, that warehouse. Now, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> Brings back memories. Oh my God. Memories, eh? It's been a long time. So, we used to have this unit for kind of like a, we called it a DD garage, but the re HQ, but the DDHQ. But the reality is, it wasn't really the DDHQ. That was kind of a mask for my other company, which was an online marketing company that specifically targeted Facebook ads for companies that wanted to sell things online. And so that's called affiliate marketing as a whole for an industry. So we sold things for other people through targeted Facebook ads. That's the short and skinny. That's why you saw desks in here in the old uh, vlogs. And then we had a team of guys that worked and did certain things like we had a guy who did what's called media buying. He's the one who actually made the ads and basically used the ad accounts and bought all the ads. We had a, a tech guy who would do all the servers and all the setup of the websites. And so there's a lot to it. Anyhow, we don't need to get into all of it. 
that's really what this was used for. And then DD was like uh, kind of something we also threw in here just for fun. Um, but the reality is, is once my media company uh, moved on to do other things, uh, there's a long story behind that. This was closed down. We decided to leave here. This is no more. This is now some other business. And ironically, what was next door to us at the time was a uh, yoga studio is no longer a yoga studio. Remember the burnout on the money we did here? That was here. That in was the, in here. Yeah, we, we unwrapped my Huracan here, oh, the I white still wrap. I feel it in my fingers. <clears throat> that was so painful. The ski box on my Mercedes, which we brought here. We on put the, the ski box on the Huracan yeah. here before I drove down yeah. to Nevada and it blew off in yep. the desert. That was a few years ago. I mean, back then I didn't have a supercar. I drove a 1995 Mercedes. You didn't even work C for DD. No. You actually, Dave actually started working originally with us uh, in the media company. I was, I was doing We taught you how to do yeah. Facebook media ad buying. Yeah. Right. That's kind of the skinny of what happened here with this location. Well, the other eight DDHQ went and toured and we applied for. Oh, in LA. In LA, that big cool parking lot with a big billboard and all that. So tell them. So I'll just tell you the truth. So we went to the city council and we asked if we could use it for our purposes of filming. And they said, no. They're gonna rezone up something different than automotive. They want retail space, they don't want they don't want us there and our cars revving and you know, it is what it is. So that was a big no. Hey, I made a video right here changing my tires in the snow. I remember that. It was so painful. Jamie, cut to a clip of me changing my tires in the snow right here on the road. You guys ever seen this before? Lambo in the snow, tire change. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. Oh! Look at the back of the Holy crap, there is nobody downtown Victoria. You guys, this is a Monday when like everybody would be getting out of work. Look at this. This is crazy. Dude, there's nobody here. It's a ghost town. There's nobody down here. There's like, it's insane. I just pulled over because this is so surreal. Legit ghost town. For real though, look at this. Like, whoa. This is Government Street. This is like tourist city and also a very busy street. Like right now, this is a Monday. Check this out. There's nobody. Like nobody. Hey, how hey, you doing? Just hold the door open because of the wind. Oh, will it not stay open by itself? No, I'm going 90. You're not doing 90 in the city. epic is this you guys you got to think sometimes we probably take for granted that we live on this beautiful island dave i think our journey has come to it what'd you do <laughs> i didn't even know that came off like that supercharger boys yeah it actually <laughs> does look like it's little tiny supercharger not really but i mean in the sense that it's got well anyhow you know what this is right here what 10 grand <laughs> get out of here all right guys well hey thanks for driving all the way down here to have some fun with me yeah, chris no. your gtr is sick i don't care what dave says <laughs> No, for real. He can bash GTR owners all he wants. GTR owners have my respect. But then again, nothing impresses Dave as we already know. This car would smoke that car. Of, smoke it. Of course it would. You guys, we had a fun video with you. Good to be back on Vancouver Island. Be patient with us. We love you guys. I've had to vlog from my bathroom. I'll make you a video. <laughs> Dave's shower tip. 10 minutes in the shower of Dave Coulter. I have no hair. What am I doing for 10 minutes? You'll find out. Not, not shampooing his hair. <laughs> Drive safe. I will. You and me? Yeah. God, that's loud. You have to hear this car and we have to understand the pain of that exhaust. Just bragging about how I have a cup holder in the F12. So you, you, the has a cup holder as well. It's in the worst position to reach around. 
You have to. You have to what? Hold on. <laughs> you have to <laughs> what? Backwards. Did he just say you have to do a reach yeah, around? Reach around to find the Dave knows how to do that very well from all the years of us working together and staying in the same hotel room. Hey, so, how bad do you want a supercar, you guys? Right. <laughs>